I'm in Jongno today to visit Amomento's first flagship store that was launched over the weekend. I noticed that more and more fashion brands are opening their shops in Jongno, where there are many tourist attractions like palaces and museums because they have been gaining more international consumers over the recent years. And with the launch, they revealed a new collection titled Aero, inspired by an exhibition that featured architecture with inflatable structure. So their new season uses lots of nylon and some even feels like an inflatable balloon, whether visually or the feel when they're worn. The brand's parent company first stepped into the fashion industry with a curated retail store called Shop Momento. And with this background, their forte really comes from the installation that reflects the season's concept and their curating skills. They've been taking the pop up store strategy to raise their awareness in major fashion cities offline. Actually, there's going to be one in New York in March and another one in Copenhagen in August. So if you're around, maybe it's worth having a look. This is also something that I would love to try. It looks like lightly washed jeans and it's got a banded waist. Their price point is also not that bad. It ranges from around 120 to 250 USD per piece. And you might think that they're a little bit basic, but like I showed you really briefly here, every piece got one or two details that really sets them apart from other basic items. You know, like this friend has a lot of focus on utility wear. This is a skirt. It has a little layer. And what's interesting is it's actually the zipper here, so you can take it off and wear it as a mini skirt as well. These jeans that I showed is actually cotton on the top and denim on the bottom. It's very interesting. Still have that kind of light jean wash here. I also really enjoyed watching how all the stylists and salespeople here match the new season items. I love this cardigan hat that has the cutout detail at the back, um, but I told myself that I can do something similar with the cutout top from Tibby. This length difference not only elevates the dress you're wearing underneath, but creates balance when seen from behind as well. They're only allowing three pieces to try during the opening week. I'm gonna try this black mini balloon dress, um, black shorts that I can also wear for work, and white summer dress that has this little detail on the side. This is actually the perfect summer dress, especially in Hong Kong where the humidity is really high. And they have pockets. I think this is really cute. I wore these boots to the flagship store, so it looks too cute for me um, right now with these boots on, but I could definitely wear like sandals and um, like a cutout top that I mentioned to create a little bit of balance, but you know, you get the idea. This top part feels a little thicker and tighter than I expected. Um, so you would see this kind of mini dress sort of shape, but this nylon skirt over it just makes it so beautiful. The shape is so interesting. Looks like it's got some kind of structure around my waist. It looks even better in person. So this dress actually comes in three colors, white, turquoise, and the black. Um, I don't know why, but it really looked different when she wore it. Um, but I did like the detail on the side. It was just that it comes in one size and it was too tight for me. But when I put a jacket over it, it actually looked quite good. I think that's the power of the sheer material. And I don't necessarily need this one to get that effect. This is the shorts that I tried. It's um, the small size one and the bigger size is two. They only come in two sizes, but I think if these 
the shape is actually pretty good. My muscles are pretty developed around my thighs and my butt and this actually doesn't make me look that bulky around here. You can see like how clean it falls. This is a bigger size. I don't know, I think I like the smaller size better. It is more comfortable around waist. I didn't have a proper tee that I wanted to match it with, but I would definitely wear like a striped tee over this. Ooh, and these cargo pants. I really wanted one of these, but it just didn't work for me. I kind of like this cargo pants. I know this is like in fashion right now, uh, but it's got extra layer, which makes it a little bit too warm for summer, I think. Like, it's perfect for the weather right now, but I'm not sure if I'll be comfortable. Like, I can see myself sweating my ass off later. And this is what I meant when I said some pieces actually feel like an inflatable balloon because I felt like there was a lot of air trapped inside my pants. All in all, their design is really unique. I love their concept and their, the experience that I had at the flagship store, but the sizing options are just not so ideal for people living in overseas markets because, you know, everyone comes in different sizes and shapes and not everyone can have the Korean skinny 20-year-old girl's body, so. And they were pointing at this saying that it's a um, gift for people who visited the flagship store and I actually thought they meant the business card and that's when I knew I need to get my sugar fix. Bye!